Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, and we're back with another Let's Guide for Disgaea 5, and this one's going to be on the cheat shop. All right, so how you get the cheat shop is you have to go to the strategic assembly, and you have to pass that bill. If you're not sure how to do that, I have a video that shows the strategy, uh, strategic assembly, strategy assembly, and I unlock the cheat shop in there. Now, this is the default location for the cheat shop. Once you've unlocked the strategy assembly, you can actually modify your netherworld. So you can move it, but this is where it would be at um, by default. Cheating's the best. Cheating's the best. All right, so what is the cheat shop? It is exactly what it sounds like. The cheat shop. All right. So I'm going to turn everything back to default. Boom. All right. So the way this works is you're going to have multiple pages. And as you go along, you're going to unlock a little bit more. You can see there's all these things down here that you can't do quite yet. I'm going to actually log into my PlayStation 4 version, which end game save that I have. And I'll show you guys everything that's there. But I'm going to give you a basic explanation on how the most important parts work all right so this is where you can adjust the different types of things you get for battling weapons mastery special skill experience money mana so right now I'm not hurting for money I'm not looking for money so I'm gonna take that down as far as I can go 85 is as far as it can go which means I can pump 15% that I took out of money into experience if I'm not looking for mana so much I can do the same thing now you will notice that I can only go 15% at a time as you level up and unlock more things that will increase and I'll show you just how much on the end game one when I do that all right weapon mastery special skill I'm gonna leave those alone because I don't want to mess with those all right so this one here it's really hard to it's easy to explain it's hard to give you specific numbers so basically what this does is it makes the enemies harder so all right so I can't go into an, uh, Where would you like a to map go right now because my gates are locked let me see if I can see if I can I don't think I can I think oh I can I just can't go to any new ones okay all right, so you see how these guys are level one. So let's go ahead and Not gonna miss. get rid of these guys real quick. <laughs> Her over here, and I got a couple more. Serafina. Put her here. It's Girl of Harl here. Alright, let's get oh, some humans. Human we need humans. My way. Here I come. Here I come. Alright, let's execute. Hopefully we get them all. Seraphina might fail. She's the lowest level, I think. Alright, let's find out. Come on. Oh, did I not do Seraphina? Oh, I forgot to queue it. Good thing I didn't go end turn. She got him! Good. Alright. Alright, so you saw those guys were all level 1s. So, if we go back to the cheat shop... And normally I would save during this, but I'm not going to because this is just a demo and I'm probably going to go back before I made these changes anyways. Alright, so let's take it up to three. Now you would think that, oh, it's going to be three times stronger. Or it's going to add three levels or something along those lines. But where would you like to go, dude? it is not that straightforward, unfortunately. Now we go here. 
you see they're level seven now. So it's not three times because that would be three. It's not plus three levels because that would be four. It's some weird arbitrary, I don't get the formula. Let's see if we can capture these guys. I always try to capture when I do stuff like this if I can because she's actually a level high enough to catch this guy. I thought she was lower. Um, because I like using him for my interrogation and getting extracts for him. So just bear with me here if you don't mind. Alright, we're Fly away. Oh, execute, let's go. Let's go. Come on, Seraphina, you're the one that's gonna fail if anybody no. Get him! Yep, see, told you. But as you can see, the... As you can see, the uh, purpose of this is so you can raise levels of enemies and still get experience for anything you've unlocked. World-wise. Leave it to me. All right, Serafina, you're going to get one more chance here. If you don't get it, I'm going to bring Nisa over to do it. Yeah. Uh, I need to level her up if I'm going to keep her in the capture squad. Protect game industry! Protect game industry. All right. So as you can see, it's not a one-for-one one in any way, shape, or form. I don't know what the magic formula is. I will show you as high as you can take the level one guys in a minute. Always remember that if you're doing that to level up before you go back to do like say continue the story, maybe you're grinding for the story that you take it back down to zero. Just keep that in mind. All right, so with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and load up my PlayStation 4 version. I'm playing on the Switch right now, so this is a new game that I did just for these Let's Guides. Uh, let me come back with that, and uh, we will show you everything that's in the cheat shop for you to do. Alright, so... Be right... Alright, we are back. Why is there no music? Can't have that. Oh, dang it. Nintendo! Fix your buttons. Uh, let's go here... Gotta have a little bit of music, right? Alright, this... That seems good. We don't want it too loud. Now, as you can see, I have the... That might be too loud. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, jeez, I keep doing the wrong button. Actually, that that's good. It's just loud in my headphones. Alright, so... I've moved my cheat shop over here as I was saying because I unlocked the build that allows me to modify my netherworld. Alright, so this is what it looks like at the end game. So let's go... what's default? Pad. Alright, just so you can see how far down you can go at the end game. All the way. You can go all the way down. On all of these. If you wanted to. <laughs> I don't advise this. I am just showing you this as a demo. Demonstration of what you can do. We do not really want to do this. It's not very wise to neglect everything else. But. You could do it. Oh, I forgot that you could do it go fast. Yeah. You could do that. And then, uh, yeah, 550. It actually takes like the 550. I'm not sure why. Because there's four of these, but 
It lets you go to 550. All right. So you can see if we take it up 20, and I'm just, I'll do this after I show you everything that's here. I guess I unlocked everything. It's amazing. What have I not unlocked? All right. So uh, these are the other things you can unlock. Boss floors forever. You will have in the item world, which is something I haven't covered yet. I think that's going to be my next video. You have boss floor forever. So every floor is. Uh, no, that's not what. That's not right. You can't skip a boss floor. In, uh, in the normal mode, you can just bypass it by going to the exit. Auto heal at base. Turn on or off auto heal when you're returning to your pocket netherworld. If you want that on you don't need to go to the hospital It'll save you some time skip revenge effects so this would turn off the effect animations for your revenge back to square one to place the enemies in their original spot on cleared maps not really sure what that one does to be honest with you I think it would oh so you can refight the bosses if you wanted and do them in a higher have them in a higher uh, Difficulty. All right, we can use her Netherworld. So appear in item worlds or Nether Research squads. You can adjust the strength of users Nether worlds. So, uh, you can make it easier when you do research squads in other people's Nether worlds. And when you go to other people's item worlds, I'm not exactly sure how that works because I don't think I'd want to make them weaker. I, yeah, but all right, squeaky sandals. You can turn it off. The the walk sound when you walk. Everyone is a bomb, so everybody becomes a printy when you throw them. So this boosts item discovery and collapse rate on expeditions. Uh, expeditions are something I'll cover later. All right. So, this is if you didn't want to earn XP, mana, money, weapon mastery, skill specialty. I don't know why you would do this. Class mastery, revenge. Uh, I guess if you didn't, if you wanted to play old school style, you could turn off the revenge gauge, but I don't see the need for that. You would want to adjust the experience meter or whatever on this page before you mess with these because you'd want to benefit from it at least no cancels uh, you can't cancel I uh, your actions no bonus items so you don't get any bonus items from the bonus gauge no surrender you can't leave so I mean, these ones if you want to go like hardcore core mode you could do that but all right so I turned it up to 20 Let's see how Would difficult like go, the first level is. I don't, I've never done this, to be honest with you. Let's find out. Enemy strength at 20. How high are they? 45. Not too bad. Let's see here. Uh, do I have... There we go. Where is the new prey? Uh, no, dude. Let's just attack him and let them come at me, and Sup, then dude? Sup, we'll take dude? him out. Sup, dude? No, no, dude? You dude? think you can take me? <laughs> you think you can take me? All right, let's do something that looks cool, maybe. Hey, what is vital steel? Am I still an item? Explode. Dude, no! Oh no, I heal myself with that one. Okay. It's been a while since I played these guys. I don't even know what it does. You think you can take me? I think you can take me. <laughs> Alright, uh that's my That's the guy I built up most so far in this one. You see the mono potion? Alright. Where would you like to go, dude? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. So anyways, that is pretty much the item shop. Or not the item shop, sorry. God, it's late at night over here. That is the cheat shop. The cheats. And I guess I gotta it's figure out what shop. this last one is. Or uh, maybe we just leave it up to mystery and you guys uh, 
Unlock it on your own and be surprised. I'm definitely going to have to unlock it on the Switch version because that's the one I've been playing and I probably will play moving forward because it's mobile. Yes, indeed. All right. So anyways, until next video, which will probably be the item world. Actually, it has to be the item world because I can't move forward in my game until I beat that quest. You'll see what I'm talking about in the next video. So until then, take care. Bye-bye now. Static Buzz out. I gotta unlock the double jump and all that stuff. It does have a pretty good high jump, though. Why is... What's-her-face not following me? Oh, we don't want, want, we don't want none of this. What much conversations are there? Oh my gosh. There you go. Uh, I'm wondering why she's not following me around no more. Maybe that's the end game thing. I don't. I don't know. I don't know.